Harold of Mercia was the greatest warrior in all of Australia. So great he even sought out the zombie pigmen to kill with his fist while his pet pig Reginald watched. He slammed that zombie in the face and the gut and the arm and pretty much everywhere with his bloody great powerful iron like hands. So hard that the zombie just straight up and died. Next he punched the skeleton into the corner because no one puts baby in a corner but Harold put skeletons in the corner. And though he had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, he took an arrow to the knee. Even though he had seven arrows in him, he continued his monster hunting trip and journey thingamabobby all the way into late autumn. And put another monster in a corner, because it heralds baby. No one puts baby in a corner, baby puts everyone else in a corner. It's just how it is. And then he saw the rarest of all the woodland evils. A skeleton riding a bloody huge spider. You know, we really do have uh, spiders that big in Australia. It's, it's scary. Especially when an actual skeleton arch is riding them. And he got shot definitely more than 20 times in this massive epic fight. To the death. And to the... Well, time for Harold to go back to work. Because Harold was really part cat and had nine lives. Granted his monster hunting journeys, he had used up eight of those lives already, so this was his final life. This is his last chance at just feeding. Oh, he killed it! And, uh, the skeleton stuck in the earth. Alright, burrowing skeleton powers would not save this white bone devil with a bow. And even though he took about 15 arrows in one arm, Harold succeeded where others failed. And he went off into the night to try and find his way back to his house because he was really lost. Cheers, fellas. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, story time video. If you did, please hit like on it. Leave a comment about your favorite part. If you want to watch another video, uh, click the top of the screen. If you want to subscribe, click the bottom.